Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. This is again a designing video where we're gonna learn something amazing about Sketch. And I'm gonna do a lot of blunders in between because this is designing. This is, designing is almost like coding. Uh, you do the stuff, you don't like it, you delete it, you do it again. No such hard thing about that. Okay, so what happened today, uh, I was doing my regular running and exercise and stuff. And I realized that a lot of running apps are not so amazing. Now what I want from my app uh, probably I'll design one for that is when I just select my goal for running I just want to see that I don't want to see my heartbeat I don't want to see a GPS map or anything I may have an option to see them whenever I want to but moreover I'm looking for an option let's just say I want to run for four kilometers I should see how much goal I have achieved and how much it is left and that's it minimalistic look that's it so we're gonna design something for that okay and probably in the later on some more videos we can design a runner app for ourselves no big deal so I looked up onto Pexels and I found this to be an awesome background for our design. Looks pretty dope. Uh, previously I selected something else, then I didn't like it. So we're gonna go with this one. Uh, you can just pause down the video and can search for and can write the URL or maybe you can just search for runner and can find out your own image. I've already downloaded that, it's on my desktop. Okay, so this is the full-sized, full-scale image. Okay, now, let me fire up my sketch. New document? Of course. So let's just press A on the keyboard and we're gonna go this time for iPhone X. I know this is a weird design, but trust me, it's gonna look on dope on iPhone X. It's a very shiny device, trust me. And next thing that we are gonna do is whenever you design for iPhone X, it's, it's a no-no thing if you just directly get started here. So click on the insert iOS UI design iPhone X and you want that top most ugly notch here there we go place it anywhere where you like just make sure you do a zero comma zero here so that it just fits perfectly now whatever your design is it should actually go below this notch otherwise there's no sense of having a notch why why apple could have a notch it could have been just like a circular like that just get rid of that okay anyways let's just not get into that uh, now we need a design here so what we're gonna do is we need a runners here so drag and drop command one to just shrink it we are gonna just focus on this beautiful lady here make sure you don't just put it at the top otherwise the notch is gonna be like super bad and we want this to be like that maybe a little bit okay a little bit more come on I want Full fledged. The look here is so amazing. That's so crispy shot. Okay. Yep, this is exactly what I want on my screen. Okay, so now you can drag and drop it at the bottom of this ugly notch. Looks good. Press R and we are gonna have a rectangle. And yes, of course, you guessed it right. We need to mask it. We need to mask it and make sure the iPhone size is 375 by 812. So this should also be 375 by 812. Okay, otherwise it's not going to fill up. Remove the borders and just make sure it's below the notch. And it's below this image as well. Now we need to select both of them and we're going to mask it. Okay, now it's an exportable graphic. Command 1 again to zoom it up. Okay. And this looks pretty dope already, uh, but it's actually so crisp image. I don't want it to shine too much. It's gonna just reduce the simplicity of my app. So I'm gonna press R again, and we're gonna have a rectangle again. And yes, you guessed it right. We're gonna do the opacity thing again. It's 375 by 812. So 375 by 812. Okay, but it's not positioned right, so we're gonna get zero, zero. Okay, now it's look good. And we're gonna again drop it below the notch. We're gonna do something funky here. Remove the borders and fill it up. And we're gonna start with nice and funky greenish, like that. Uh, we're gonna choose with this like gradient stuff. Choose with like a little bit funkish green. And the next one is gonna have a tint of blue. Okay. Maybe too harsh onto the blue. A uh, little bit like that. I want just to smooth out the things. Looks good. And now reduce the opacity, it's gonna look dope. Don't reduce it too much, otherwise the image, this image is so crisp that it's gonna pop out, even with the slightest. So we can go with the 85 or maybe 90. Let's just hang around with 86. Okay. 
Uh, looks pretty dope, pretty dope. Now, next thing is we want a button. So press R and we're gonna get a rectangular button just like onto the knees. Okay, this looks good. Okay. And now what we want with our button. Uh, obviously we want border in this case. Let's just go with three, three is good. We're gonna go with the white. And after the white, sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. And we are going to fill it with, okay, what color red is, yep, that looks dope. But it should be a little bit shinier, flattish red. Okay, CF1212, that's our color. Because I want the text uh, inside this to be white, and that's gonna look dope uh, uh, if that is a big red button, okay. And we're gonna, okay, railway font, this already is looking good. Okay, I, something like I quit, okay. Uh, this is a motivational app, so if somebody is pressing on this, he is willing to say that, yes, I am quitting. Character space, yep, uh, looks good. Okay, looks pretty good to me already. Uh, but we can, this is just a basic thing, we are gonna make it a little bit awesome. So we're gonna press on to the shadows, already looking good. Make sure you get a shadow of two and two, maybe a little bit, and a little bit more blur, okay. Maybe less. Uh, it should look good. Hmm, I like it. And make sure you select this one as well. And we're gonna have some shadows on it. It is already looking dope. Not to you. Let me show you how it's gonna look dope. Press Z key on your keyboard and zoom this. See how crispy it is and how dope this is looking. I already loved it. I like it. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, this is nice borders and shadowish thing. Uh, this is already looking good. I like it. I like it already. Now let's go and press command one to get it out. Now I want a circular thing that how much goal I have achieved of, let's just say I want to run four kilometers, okay? So press O for getting an oval-ish circle. Circle stands for so. See, it's, it's oval. So press down your shift key and we need a circle. Okay, so we're gonna go with nice uh, 200 by 200. Yep. And we're gonna center-ish just like there. I know these all things are not center. Uh, I would probably go with something like uh, centering based on maths, but later on, not right now. Okay, so this looks good. We don't want it to be filled up. We want it to be with borders. So we're gonna go with like, okay, uh, 20. Yep, 20. And make sure it's onto grayish color, okay? Uh, light grayish. Uh, I'll tell you what we are doing in just a minute, so make sure it's a light grayish like that. And then you can just uh, copy and paste it, Command C, Command V. Immediately, sooner as you do this thing, uh, just press Command R and make sure you name it Oval 2. Because we'll be working on Oval 2, not on the Oval 1. They're exactly the same, okay? Oval 2 is gonna have a border color. I'm gonna go with the yellow because it's gonna pop out a little bit here. Okay. Uh, okay. This is a very colorful app and I love it. Okay, now the problem is uh, we want the circular progress bar here. Uh, that's not a problem, that's actually very easy to do. Make sure the position says center, settings, uh, ends gonna here. And now we're gonna have a gap of let's just say uh, 500, not 500, maybe uh, uh, let's just go with 8,000. Nope, uh, just just bear with me. Let's just say, bear with me, 8000 is okay. And now what you can do is you can just press your shift key and hold down your up arrow. And this is gonna give you a round circular arrow wherever you want. So if you want a progress bar for every single uh, stop here, you can get that, okay? And notice the circular here is, that is inside. Make sure uh, this is gonna get inside here if you're gonna select this at center. If you're gonna select inside, uh, it doesn't look that dope. So make sure it just says center, okay? Uh, next thing that you can do here is, come on, what happened there? Command Z, uh, just select the settings here and let me show you a mathematical formula here. Uh, what you can do is whatever the percentage you want, let's just say you want 25%, so write .25, uh, then multiply it with 200 and then you can multiply it with by pi, uh, which is uh, 3.14. 
Okay, and the full credits for this formula goes to Envision, guys. They're awesome. Uh, so this is uh, this is the formula for 25%, okay? So if you have achieved your goal for 25%, uh, that's what you can do. Now, I'm going to do a Command C uh, and uh, Command C, Command V so that we have another screen here. And this screen is going to have uh, like 50% of the goal. So let's just see what we're going to do is uh, come on settings. And again, what we're going to do is let's just say we this time wants 50%. So dot 50. We are going to multiply it with by 200 because my circle is like size of 200. And uh, multiply it with, with pi 3.14. There we go. So now we have a 50% goal here. We're going to write some text here. Okay. And we're going to say 25% and uh, select that. We're going to bump this a little bit. Size is going to bump a little bit. Okay. And there we go, 25%. Nope, a railway is not looking good. Uh, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, this is dope. al -tariq. I don't know how to spell that. I'm miserable in that. Okay, looks pretty good. I like it. Even the person sign can have a space there. Looks pretty good now. Select this guy and we want a different color here. Let's try out a different color here. Uh, maybe a yellowish color. Hmm, how about that? Okay, yeah, looks good. Mac uh, matches up with the things. Uh, weight, we, do, we are not allowed to have a weight here, so that's not a big deal. We can have a border here and uh, the border can be whitish. No, border looks really ugly. Okay, so we're gonna go with 25%. We're going to copy this and we're going to come here, paste that. And this is now going to say 50%. Oops, come in, Z. It's going to say 50. There we go. So 25%, 50%, and I quit. So this is going to keep a track of how much goal you have achieved. And similarly, you can have like 25%, uh, 50%, maybe 51% if you want to go that precise. And you can have the images just like that. So circular images, you can just replace them images by images. No big deal there. So this looks, this is a pretty good and dope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out and bring it some kind of thumbnail with that. So I'm going to select my iPhone uh, X 50%. Okay. And uh, probably we can have a couple of icons and buttons here so that we can just uh, tap on that and can move on to the navigation bar, uh, maybe some other heartbeat and monitor. So you can place up uh, small things here and there. Okay, your markers and stuff like that. Right now, let me just export this entire iPhone X and uh, just export this guy. And I'm going to try to bring up a thumbnail from this. Okay, uh, this is going to be pretty dope. So this is how it looks like. And probably in the thumbnail, you'll see some awesome uh, artistry work uh, based on this design. Uh, let me know in the comment section how you liked it. This is pretty informative as well as minimalistic thing. Um, I would love to have an app just just says how much you have achieved. Okay, enough of that. Uh, I enjoyed this design quite a lot. Uh, that's it for this video. And probably in the next video, we're going to learn something more uh, amazing stuff about this sketch. That's it for this video. And let's catch up in the next video.